What does a pure iron shot feel like to you? A pure... <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> the perfect feel with an iron shot. I, man, it's hard to describe. It's a whole experience, right? But it's really hard to explain. A pure iron feels... Uh, hmm. That's a really good one. I got time. When I come home, I just come out here and I hit 20 or 30 balls just to decompress. This is a club I use. It's an old muscle back five iron. It's one that you have to be very precise to hit well. But when you just pure one, it's unlike any other feeling you experience. There you go. That one was right in the middle. It lights up your brain. A pure iron shot feels like when God and Adam are touching in the Sistine Chapel. It feels like the perfect wine pairing. Like hitting a ball of clay. Feel is one of the main feedback mechanisms you get when you hit a golf shot. It feels like the club and the ball are just connected for a little longer. That sensory experience that you flush that shot, that's really what you're chasing. When that happens, that second that you know, oh man, I just got that one. Oh, you're just like, well, how soon can I do it again? <laughs> the feel of a great iron shot is just the best. Before you even look up and see the ball, you know you hit that one good. And so every time we do a survey on what dedicated golfers want, the number one response regarding irons is, I want feel. Be good. Now, of course, the scientists are gonna go for the three Ds, distance, dispersion, angle of descent. But if it doesn't have great feel, it's kind of a non-starter. But it's a difficult problem for an engineer because when you add complexity to the design of the club head in order to gain advantages such as easier launch conditions or better off-center impact, these are naturally in conflict with the best feel performance. We want to be able to give every player that feel that everybody wants. But the challenge of trying to engineer feel is that there's a subjective nature to it, so it's hard to wrap your arms around it. When you hit it good like that, the ball just feels light. The feel of the perfect golf shot is really hard to describe. So that feels more like chopping wood. We're dealing with something of such a short duration. That was a good one. Sweet spot. Yet your brain processes that very quickly into emotions such as desire, love, feelings of quality and consistency. Yeah, that felt great. And the feel response is going to tell you when you hit a good shot or a bad one. Oh, that felt like hitting a human skull. That's not good. Do you have much experience hitting a human skull? So we're having to develop the physics and the measurement methods to try to understand what is it that your brain is so good at. It's a big challenge, developing a technical roadmap to try to describe or define something that, quite frankly, is emotive. But if you want to find feel, it's there. You just have to dig a little deeper. All right, so I'm gonna give you these headphones. I want you to close your eyes when you get them on there. We're just gonna play a little something for you and just kind of let it, let it wash over you.
The impact between a golf ball and an iron lasts for less than half of a millisecond. In that time, vibrations are created which then radiate from the impact. Half a millisecond. And there's so many different things that can make that impact really good or really bad. How the club interacts through the turf. How the shaft is optimized for your swing. The grip is also sensory, it's tactile. But then beyond that, it's acoustics. That's insane. You know you're doing research when you have to work in an office that has like a, you know, nine inch thick steel door. So largest civilian use anechoic chamber in the United States. Built in the 60s for the Skunk Works project for the stealth fighter. For an engineer, this is like bucket list, you know? It really is. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Acoustics really entered the equation early to mid 2000s. Engineers realized that there was more to feel than just sole design and turf interaction. It was more about the player's experience. And one of the big keys of that experience is what you're hearing. That was when we started taking sound recordings of everything we could. What club is first? Let's do the MB Proto. MB Proto. Your butter knife. Mmm. How good does that sound? Waveforms are just so rich in information. And when you take these recordings over 20 years, then you really start to have a catalog of what works. And from there, we can start to take an analytical approach and a predictive approach where we start to simulate acoustics in a virtual environment. The hard part is that every aspect of every component of the golf club has its own modal frequency. Modal frequency can be thought of as the natural frequencies that the different components of an arm want to vibrate at. How is the thin face interacting with the polymer of max impact? What is the back doing? What is the badge doing? So we can run these different virtual experiments, taking parts out or putting them in, and see how they'll manipulate the sound frequency. The simulation can be thought of as an instrument, and you're tuning each component every time to see if it's producing the chord that you're hearing in the recording. If you get the correlation, it allows you to quickly iterate through a ton of different models. So before we would only run a handful of different ideas, and with simulation you can run hundreds of ideas. Some combination of those creates a signature which is the best sound, the best feel. When we began, it was how much loss in terms of feel can we tolerate? Engineering all this performance into a club. Now we're asking the question, how can we have it all? How far can we push this? Holy cow. <laughs> A pure iron shot, that's the ultimate feeling that I'm chasing. For just a split second, all of my doubts and my worries go away. Once you've peered an iron, it's almost like starting a little addiction. You just want to keep playing to feel it again. The sensation when I peer one is, I feel like I want to find a mirror and high five myself. It's just the ultimate feeling of confidence. Nice shot. Like, I could do it every time. Beautiful. Thank you. Get up. Be good. Oh! And then it's something I can't do every time. 
when you can deliver a product to help people play better golf. There's no better feeling because you know how difficult golf is to everyone. We're trying to give our golfers the best experience of the game. All right. All right. There we go, Marnie. Yeah. Let's go. And feel in a golf club, it's really, really important to having a good experience of golf. Every golfer likes maybe something a little bit different, but for us, we tried to simplify it a little bit by focusing on the best players in the world and what they consider to be the best feel. So you have the prototype irons in here. Marnie and his team, that was their biggest focus, was to find something that uh, they could do to improve the feel and get the feedback that you're looking for throughout the set. It feels just like the MVs all the way through the bag. Love the sound of it. I mean, oh my God, that came out so good. Here's crazy. This is great? Yeah. T350, all the speed, all the launch. We always afforded ourselves a little bit more leeway in the game improvement category, right? But we asked ourselves why? Why can't we engineer the same level of feel into the 350? This thing's so fun. Not traditionally a club for a player of your caliber, but... That's sick. I know who it's made for, but I could put this in my bag if it's going to come out that nice. All we do is help dedicated golfers play their best. So we're going to give you tremendous feel in four unique models. And then you go get fit for the right one. You're going to play your best golf. Everybody always likes, you know, a blade or a T100 and the way it feels. Not everybody can play those two golf clubs. So now that everything feels the same, solid, we're removing barriers. There's no more excuses with, I don't want to play this golf club because it feels a certain way. You should play it because it performs better. It helps you score better. I think engineering feel, particularly in irons, is a perpetual challenge because we actually have to delight golfers, make them fall in love with our product. And that, as an engineering problem, to me, is absolutely fascinating. After all the physics has been applied, does it actually make us feel good? It can be very easy to beat yourself up on the golf course because we don't hit perfect shots every time. But in that instance when I do, makes me feel like I'm capable of doing anything. Like, I did that, I did that. I've got two kids, so squaring it up. Nice. It's one of the few times when, you know, I kind of feel like I'm in control. <laughs> Woo! You work so hard to accomplish this one perfect connected moment. That had to feel good. Sure did. When you're swinging the club well, it just feels like you're hitting a marshmallow. I mean, that felt good too. It feels like I'm almost hitting a cotton ball. <laughs> it's coming out exactly how I think it's going to come out. And then you look up and somebody in your group's looking at you like that, thinking, man, what a perfect iron shot you just hit. 